Hey there, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. Today's video is about the new A4 size Quobatis Habana. The previous large size of the Habana was about a 6x9 format, and this one is more like an 8.5x11 size. So I'll go ahead and go over all the dirty details with you and show you what this notebook is all about. Now here we are checking out the three current sizes that is available with the Quovatis Habana. Now these are the new Habanas, these are the ones with the 85 gram paper. The making of this video is as of April of 2012. Habana's gone through a couple of different changes over the years, a um, couple of different paper styles, but the one that it currently has is 85 gram off-white paper. And previously they were only available in these two sizes. Um, you got about a uh, six by nine size for the larger one, which was quite large, uh, you know, compared to you know moleskins and, and the Rhodia web notebook. Um, it's a it's a good bit larger, but this one's even bigger. I actually had to zoom out on the camera a little bit just to fit this thing in the frame. It's pretty large. It's uh, eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarter. Um, you know, so it's a four size European size. This uh, it uses Clairefontaine paper. It is bound in the U.S. Now, currently, the only ones that are being made are, at least that are available in the U.S., are blank and black cover. Um, as to whether or not they will make more uh, and expand the offering is up in the air, but this is what is currently available. So it's, um, it's got a leatherette cover, so it's a little bit flexible, just like the rest of the Habanas are, but um, this one is probably a little more so just because of the size of the notebook. Um, pretty durable. It's got a nice feel to it for sure. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Habana covers. Um, here you are looking at the off-white paper. Nice color to it. It's got a little bit of a yellowish tinge to it. It's cream color um, as opposed to like a, a off, some off-whites are kind of a gray color. This one's really nice cream color. One of the best things about the Habanas is the fact that they lay flat uh, pretty much from the get-go. They may require, you know, to lay truly flat they may require just a little bit of coaxing, but if you look, when you open this thing up, the binding actually um, just kind of splits right down the middle there. That's part of why you get such a good flat laying notebook and for uh, for what relatively is a thick uh, you know thick paper there are 80 sheets in here and it does come with a back pocket which I know a lot of people really like very convenient it's got an elastic enclosure here and it does have a ribbon marker which I'm having a hard time finding right at the moment Okay, there we go. So it has a ribbon marker. So a lot of nice features to it. Um, the paper itself performs well. I've got a, a couple of pens that I can that I can whip out here for you. Um, you know, the ink color is probably not going to come across so great in the video, but what the heck. Um, I'm going to test out. I've got a Twisby Diamond 540 with a one and a half millimeter italic loaded up with Noodler's Black. And I have a Platinum President with a medium nib, and I have Diamine Majestic Blue loaded up in there. So let's go ahead and zoom in and show off a little bit of what this paper is like. So I've got a Twisby 540. This pen writes pretty wet, so this is a good one to test. I actually have a hard time zooming in because, <laughs> because I'm having to zoom out so far just to get the whole thing in the picture. And then I've got a Platinum President. With an 18K medium nib. Diamine Majestic Blue. I don't get any feathering on these, and uh, this Twizzy is putting on a lot of ink, and that black takes a little bit to dry. Actually, the Majestic Blue is pretty saturated ink, too. Um, takes a little while to dry. That's probably the biggest downfall of these inks, is that, um, or sorry, of this paper, is that it may take a little longer to dry if you're used to like inkjet paper and stuff that's really absorbent. But as far as the performance of the paper goes, I mean, you can see on the back here, there's a little bit of show through, but there's no bleed through at all. 
and the show through actually comes up shows up more on the camera than it does in real life. But uh, you know, if you take uh, some of the other papers and put down as much ink as I did here, they're not going to be looking so good. So I would, I would be confident to be able to write on the other side of this uh, rather easily. So there you go. That is the paper of the 85 gram A4 size Quivatis Habana. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, you can always email me at brian.gulepens.com. Thanks a lot, and right on.